Hi everybody and uh, welcome to my next video. This weekend we're in The Rock, New South Wales. Uh, so we're about five hours out from Sydney, uh, staying on a farm stay uh, called Avalon. And I'll uh, show you what that looks like just behind me. That one here. As you can see behind me, there is nothing. Uh, it's a working farm, uh, there's sheep, but you probably can't quite make them out just over here. Um, unfortunately, haven't got a lot of video for this weekend just because it's been absolutely torrential. Uh, we've had major floods, even getting here the car was uh, wading through water probably a bit deeper than the manufacturer recommends. Uh, don't know what that was, but there's something in the grass there. Um, but anyway, uh, this is on Airbnb. Um, yeah, you can find it easily on there. Uh, really cool location. It's a great old, uh, from early 1900s farmhouse. Uh, it's been restored inside, but kept quite traditional with the fittings. Uh, you've got three bedrooms, uh, two bathrooms. Um, there's a laundry, kitchen, lounge area, TV, even a fireplace. And believe it or not, this is meant to be summer and uh, yeah, we're putting the fire on tonight, you can guarantee that. Um, as you can probably tell by fleece in the middle of summer, it's not normal for here. So here we are on the veranda, overlooking our domain for the weekend. And one of the quaint stories from uh, the owners is that in the renovation of this place, everything's been done up. This is the front door. Still has the original lock. They don't have the key, so you can't go in the front door, only in the back. with the inside just here the front door that uh, 
can't be opened. That leads into two bedrooms. First bedroom just here, which is set up for double bed and a single. Fireplace with a little bit of the art. And as you can probably see, quite a lovely view out into the paddocks. Should also point out in each bedroom, if you can see it, there's actually a uh, trunk loaded with blankets. There's lots of old papers. This one here from 1938. Um, I presume these were bits that were all found when they were renovating um, this property, given that it comes from the 20s. Uh, another front bedroom here, again queen bed in here, blanket box, desk, seating, and looks out again over the paddocks. Now, oh, there's not normally sheep in here, uh, but uh, due to the flooding recently he uh, had to move them back up this way. So we'll move on through. Now we're into the lounge area. Has a fire. TV, not that you should need to watch much. They do have some local art hanging on the walls, uh, which is available for sale. Uh, it's pretty well covered. It's a real fireplace. All the bits you need for setting fires just there. Binoculars, bird book. There's a lot of birds around this area, so if you're a bit of a twitcher, then uh, this will be very popular. This is the visitor information pile. Lots of brochures and leaflets from surrounding areas. Moving into the kitchen. Usual bits. Oven, microwave, sink, fridges. And then moving to the outside, we've got washing machine, tumble dryer, proper old school copper sink, perfect if you're bringing a dog with you and you need to give it a wash. Just out this way have half bathroom and then this door is one of the two that you can come in and out of and it opens out into the paddock. Kitchen, this place is a bit of a maze, leads out to the second door that you can enter and exit through at the back. Uh, this is one of the first bathrooms. Shower, usual. Everybody knows what a bathroom looks like right now. They do also have, just down here, board games, connect four, all those kind of things. Then moving into the master bedroom. Bed, dresser, another dresser, blanket box that everybody has. Another set of windows opening out. I only get a good view of my car today though. And then moving into the ensuite. Again, shower, toilet, sink. All clearly self-explanatory. Self so, still sitting down here at the park. So uh, as you can probably tell, I'm knocking these last three uh, little bits of video out. But um wanted to reflect on our most recent stay. So we stayed at Avalon Farm Stay, uh, which is located in an area called The Rock, uh, which is a little way sort of just uh, away from Wagga Wagga. For those of you not from Australia, it's actually spelt W-A-G-G-A and then repeated, so it's Wagga Wagga really. But Wagga Wagga is how it's referred to here. Um, and it's a really unique place. So the farm stay itself is a working farm. Um, Joel, uh, one of the owners, he uh, looks after sheep. Um, unfortunately, as you'll probably see from some of the videos, it was rather wet while we were there, and rather wet is an understatement. So we have uh, an El Nina going at the moment. Um, basically, it just means we go between two variables in Australia, which is scorching heat and drought, or floods. Um, you know, we, we like to do things properly here, so uh, we, we push the extremes. Now, they were experiencing some flooding, so he'd had to move all the sheep back up. Now, the building itself was an old 1900s building. Um, they've actually done an amazing job of uh, uh, renovating it inside and adding some modern touches, um, but also whilst keeping it original. 
um, and, and that's, that's no mean feat. So there's lots of little news articles around uh, from the years that it was built. Um, there's a very in-depth guide there about the history of the building uh, and the work that they've done. It has a creek out the back. Uh, it consists of three bedrooms and uh, two and a half bathrooms. So you know you can take quite a, a little group away with you there. You've got a central living area and um, yeah it was actually a really lovely stay. We stayed for two nights. Thankfully the weather cleared up for us over the weekend so the water started to subside and uh, we did a little bit of off-roading in my car which it was never designed to do and um, we got out and experienced what there was to see in the area and it turns out quite a lot so the Riverina area of which this is near uh, of New South Wales is actually where a majority of our foods and crops come from as well as about 80% of New South Wales wine production which you would never believe until you visit one of their wineries. Now I'll be doing a video in the upcoming weeks about an area called the Hunter Valley it's a favourite area of ours and in fact we're actually going there twice uh, so we're having a short trip up there with the in-laws um, next weekend and then uh, just after Christmas for New Year we're going up there for a week so I'm going to get lots of footage we're going to go to all sorts of vineyards that we've never tried before um, but you know that's what's coming up as far as Avalon Farmstay goes you couldn't have asked for more in that place everything was just perfect Pillows may be a bit on the soft side, but again, you probably figured I'm saying that about most of the places we go, so I'm a bit of a pillow snob, so we take our own, it's all good. Um, but bedding, everything there, the water pressure, which can be a problem in these country areas, fantastic. It will strip your flesh off if you turn it up full belt. Um, but lovely place, and we'd love to go again. And uh, yeah, thank you, Joel, for having us. Uh, I hope the video is uh, entertaining for you. I did try for some drone footage. Unfortunately, my drone is playing up. So even though it said it was videoing, it didn't get everything, but it got a few bits. So what it did get, I'll get up. Uh, please excuse the uh, profuse sweating. Uh, a, side effect of the drugs, and B, side effect of this 500 degree Kelvin sun that's beating down on me at the moment. So before I start developing any melanomas, uh, I'm gonna head off and uh, start editing these videos together. As most of you have probably realized quite crudely, I will eventually learn how to use Final Cut Pro, but uh, we'll uh, slowly, slowly, I think is uh, probably going to be the term. So any pointers that anybody can give me, feel free to drop me a message or uh, DM me on Instagram. Same idea on Instagram, I'm at the Achy Pom. And uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing you on the next video. So take care, everybody. I'll see you soon.